happy Thursday. Today I'm going to make this grilled strawberry snapper. I've been anticipating to make it. Um, for this, I'm going to try another um, seasoning mix with it. Um, you're going to need um, two tablespoons of cor corando seeds. You have to grind them up. Um, you're going to need what one tablespoon of garlic. You're gonna need one table, two tablespoons of basil leaves, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one and a half tablespoon of black corn pepper ground up. You're gonna need one and a half tablespoon of Italian Italian seasoning. You need two tablespoons of paprika, one. I think I did one and a half tablespoons of onion powder and one cup of olive oil of the oil of your choice and also I'm using Maggie's but I, I didn't I don't have the um Maggie Q but Maggie seasoning you're gonna need like a tablespoon of that and you're gonna take all of these ingredients right here after I um finish grinding up the corando corander seeds and I'm gonna put it in one bowl and then I'm going to cook the, the um, fish with. And to do the fish, you're going to have to, um, when you're grilling it for this type of um, season I'm using it, I want it inside. They call it scoring. Um, I got, I got, I, I've been married to a Bahamian before, and that's what they do. They score the fish they, before they um, grill it when it's this big of size. So that the scoring gets the seasoning down inside. So you, all you're simply doing is slicing it, slicing the fish down to size to get the um, seasoning in, in the insides of it on each side of the fish. And they call that scoring it. And that's what you're going to do to the fish after you soak it in some lime and lemon. So let me um, take this all this ingredients and add them into this bowl. I'm grinding the corando seeds. I might not see it all. And you have to get it down to a to like a um just like this. The this. You could buy this already grounded, but I find like the pepper, fresh peppercorn, that it's better when you um grind it tastes it has a better flavor when it's freshly grounded and like the Italian the Italian seasoning it's when it's freshly grounded or so when you're using up the fresh grounding it um tastes much fresher sort of like when you're using oregano fresh oregano you see and this is the end result of all the, the cayenne pepper the the um, basil leaves the garlic the peppercorn the Italian or the paprika the onion powder the um, black pepper and corando seeds and all the seasoning that as before this is what it looks like all stirred up. I cut the fins off of this this time. Um, normally I don't. Um, I can't say it because it's going to be on YouTube. But if you're Jamaican, um, you know why you they like to eat the tail of the fin, especially the guys. I can't say it on because it's, I'm I'm doing this for YouTube. But I cut the fins for this right this um, recipe right here. Um, I'm going to leave the top fan on, but what you're doing is you're taking, I added the oil, and actually I'm going to start with a spoon, and you're taking the mixture, and you're making sure, remember I told you to, to, to take the, um, and slice it, and you're taking it and you're putting the, um, just marinating it. And you have enough. 
And really, we're, we're putting this in the oven. It's grilling in the oven. I'm just going to spread this at first so I can. So I'm using this one hand. And you want to get you want to get all that. You want to get all that seasoning in the, in the slits. So let me cut this off so I can do it properly. So as you can see, I um, took and I um, marinated it all. I have some between the slits of the fish and also in the inside of the fish. And I'm going to continue to marinate it. Oh, I wish I would have let this. I think it would be better if you do it overnight. But I just thought of making this. I'm making fillets also. But I have this one red strawberry snapper that I wanted to try this particular seasoning with. And after this, you're going to take a red pepper, a yellow pepper, and a green pep bell pepper, and an onion. And you're going to slice them long ways. So, I think I'm going to cook this, put the oven on 400, preheated on 400 for this particular one because it's, 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 it's a big fish. Because it's the Oriental Fish Market. I never had strawberry snapper before. So I decided to stuff it with lemon. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna need a roasting pan and you're gonna bake it. I say, I put my oven on 400, but whatever you choose to put your regular snapper baking it on. And um, you're gonna transfer the fish onto this, the roasting pan, and you're gonna bake for like 30 minutes. Um, you're gonna leave this. You're gonna leave the marinade. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and do my veggies, and because I have to chop up the green onions and bell peppers, and um, you're gonna. But with this, after I transfer it in there, you you're still gonna have to marinate the um, fish as it bake. So that's why you have all this extra marinade. So don't throw that away. So now I put the um, snapper on a baking rack, and I'm, I think I'm gonna put it put the oven on 400. You're gonna um, the remainder of the marinade is in the roasting pan I had, and you're gonna put it in, and you're gonna bake on each side for at least um, I say 10 10 to 15 minutes each side.